Uh, my name is Martin Schmidt, and we're in a band called Matmus. I'm Drew Daniel, I'm the other half of the band. It's a digital version of site specific audio where audio will play, at least in the way that we're interacting with it, audio will play when you are in a particular area. So we've made a bunch of songs which are tied to specific locations in the park and we're making the songs out of objects or in the case of the peacock, entities that can be found at those locations. So what is behind us is a map of the park that indicates the songs and where they go. So we're gonna make a song out of the skate ramps that you hear when you go to the skate ramps. Um, we're gonna make a song for the Rose Garden and we've made a song for the entrance out of recordings of the cafe across the street. So there'll be the sounds of eating a full English breakfast in that cafe. So I, I want the feeling that reality is turning into one of those double exposed photographs. You know, those where you, you have sort of two images dissolving and, and superimposed onto each other. Hopefully the music stands on its own and they could be listening to it in the dark, barely able to see the skate ramps, and it would <laughs> still be uh, a, a good listen. We made a piece with local school children who came in and played patterns on our equipment. That song will be the playground piece, so when you're at the playground you'll suddenly hear these patterns that were played by children. And those patterns have a different quality than what we would make if we were you know, constructing things, like it has a different sensibility, a different kind of timing. So we're, yeah, we're just trying to imagine like how could we make our, our own practice um, open to being influenced by the people that are around, the animals that are around, the, the look of this place. In the case of this net art, I think its ephemerality goes well with its immateriality, that it's something that people will experience as they walk through a space and then it'll be gone. It may not, you know, it may be something that hangs out on a hard drive, but there isn't so much of a need, I think, for more stuff. The fact that this, this listening and this music is tied to being in a particular place at a particular time, that's the whole point, you know? Hopefully it'll let people who come to the park have a way of experiencing something that they might already know well in a different way.